It's June 1st, 2020, and they've uh, finally opened up the state parks for limited use. It's uh, Lake Orville here, Big Wheel Canyon, Lofer Creek area. I've got a few hours to go out and chase some bass around, run this boat's been sitting around too long. I burned some of this old gas out of it. So we'll uh, see what we can do here. The 2015 Chaparral H2O fish key version 19 footer <laughs> and we're gonna set it up for fishing pretty easy and it took all the cushions out of the front so we don't get them messed up let's grab a jump seat from the back pedestal Uh, the only thing that actually I wasn't thrilled about with this boat was the motor guide uh, 55 wireless that it came with. It actually didn't last very long before it crapped out on me. So I replaced it with this Minn Kota power drive, which actually I really like. Low profile in this Minn Kota foot pedal, plus it's got a really generous amount of cord to it, so you can actually move this thing pretty much anywhere you want in the boat and uh, run the trolling motor. Yeah, the original motor guide uh, 55 wireless had very few hours on it really and I was fishing a tight little spot and it just uh, took off on, on me full blast and it wouldn't shut off so I was panicking a little bit trying to steer my way out before I realized I just needed to pull the plug but uh, took it in they said it would cost more to fix than it was worth the brain on it fried for some reason but uh, other than that it's a it's a nice boat the ice chest here doubles as a live well yeah the chef rail's a nice little runabout does a decent job Fishing. Got a little uh, GM Marine V6 engine, level SX uh, drive unit on the back. Nice combination. Nice family boat. Uh, a good, credible job for uh, get out and do some fishing. We'll push just about 50 miles an hour. It doesn't impress the, the range of pilots, but it uh, gets you where you need to go. I don't have any electronics on this boat, so we're going to have to just do it the old fashioned way. Try and fish the point to fish the back of these coves. Uh, see if we can get some kind of pattern going on where they're at. There's, there's an option to get a little fish finder. But uh, I didn't get it. Uh, I just kind of rely on my uh, skills here to catch the fish without the electronics. This, this lake has 170 miles of shoreline, so there's a, a lot of uh, hunting around to do sometimes to find the fish. But let's see what we do. There's still a, 
no camping ban in effect in Orville, so here's a, an empty floating campsite. So the pattern I've come up with is just fish the rocky shoreline, just alive with, with small bass. I tried fishing deeper with some bigger lures and uh, you know nothing really happened so uh, I had to go back to finesse fishing for these little guys but it was it just was just pure fun. Biggest bass in the world up there. They fight. They try the Senko, try the Fluke, Storm 360 Search Bait, this Robo Worm. Seems to be the only thing that's going to like it. There's a bald eagle keeping an eye out on everything. So I saw this golden eagle fishing off this point and I zipped over there real quick and it turned out to be a, a real honey hole for me. Yeah, he's fishing too. Well, he's a big one.
Oh, there's the uh, scars from the campfire that uh, devastated Paradise a couple of years back. It came up to the shores of Lake Orville and then it actually jumped all the way across the lake over onto Bloomer Hill before they uh, got it out. Hey, it was a great day. Got, caught and released a bucket full of small bass. It was just nice to get away with all that's going on with the world right now. Uh, it was great.